Shalom, Israel, Mosiah Christ bless. I'm Captain Gadda to my right. Officer Uriel. And you are not too dead to 15 minutes with a captain, all right? So today's class is called, What's Your Name? Mm. What is your name? Let's get started. Romans 15 and 4. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, uh -huh. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So first of all, we got to realize that whatever written in this Bible is written for us to learn from. Right. I know some of us out there with uh, names that are, uh, you know, uh, go by our oppressors hmm. in and without the body. It's all good. We're going to give the clarification on why we should change our names. All right. right. Read that script again. Romans 15 and 4. Uh -huh. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. For our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So these scriptures was meant to, for us to learn from. Get Jeremiah 15 and 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, uh -huh. shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So God says the blacks, the Hispanics, the Native American Indians will eventually discontinue or cease right. or stop from doing their heritage. What is a heritage? A heritage involves customs. Right. It involves traditions. It involves uh, holidays. It involves a language. It involves laws. Right. It involves ordinances. And it also right. involves your name. Right. It also involves what you go by. Get me Deuteronomy 28, 37. But God says we was going to stop, discontinue. discontinue from everything. That's why in this captivity, what we know as, as America, right. uh, Babylon the Great, God calls it, uh, in this captivity, we don't know who we are. We don't know that we're the Israelites. We don't know how to please God. All right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Mm. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword. A byword is being called outside of what God calls you. Right. Let's see who God's talking to. Read verse 1. 1 and 1, please. Deuteronomy. 1 and verse 1. What's your name? <laughs> right. Deuteronomy yeah. chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake. Unto all Israel. So these words that you hear us reading today is what Moses spoke to the Israelites. Right. And that the Israelites would become not just a, an astonishment, but a byword. Get out there, 65:15. A byword. Let's see what a byword is. Isaiah 65 and verse 15. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Come on. And ye shall leave your name. For a curse. God says you're going to leave your name for what? A curse. A curse. <laughs> a curse ain't a good thing. Right. The names that we have on us, they are curses. Our names are not a part of our heritage. Our names don't mean a uh, uh, savior. Right. Our names don't mean beloved of God. Right. The names that we have on us are actually the names of our oppressors that enslaved us. Right. Read it again. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Come on. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. The names we have today are curses. Read. Unto my chosen. Who's God's chosen? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's right. You are the Israelites. You are God's chosen. Read on. For the Lord God shall slay thee. Slay. How did the Lord slay us? Deuteronomy 28. If you don't know, read the chapter. Deuteronomy right. chapter 28, 15 on down. The Lord explains exactly to the T how, he, how we were slain. Read on. And call his servants, his servants, or us, by another name. By what? Another name. That's why we call ourselves African American. That's why we call ourselves Jamaicans, Haitian, a Puerto Rican, right? A Cuban, Cuban. Native American. Hell, some of us call ourselves Baptists. <laughs> some of us call ourselves religions. Right. God says what we call ourselves today are actually curses. Give me Genesis seventeen and one. Let's see what our forefathers. Names meant in the Bible. Because it was written a fourth time right. before, before I learned it. Right. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 1. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 1. Come on. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, mm -hmm. the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, 
I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. So the Lord told Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. Watch this. And I will make my covenant between me and thee. Come on. And I will multiply thee exceedingly. Watch this. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Israel, come on. Neither shalt thou name, name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're telling me the first thing the Lord did in establishing his covenant with Abram was change his name. Right. <laughs> That's the first thing the Lord did to him. Right. I'm going to establish my covenant with you. Now your name called Abraham. Right. Read it again. Read verse 5 again. Verse 5. Neither shall thou name any shall thy name any more be called Abram. Come on. But thy name shall be Abraham. Now what's the name? What's the meaning of Abraham? Read on. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Wow, get Genesis 32. <laughs> get Genesis chapter 32. The first thing the Lord did to Abraham when he said, I'm going to make a covenant with you, was change his name. And his right. name meant something. What did I say? Genesis, Genesis 32, 32 and 24. Genesis chapter 32, verse 24. Read. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Uh -huh. And when he saw that he uh, prevailed not against him, uh -huh. he touched the hollow of his thigh. Uh -huh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go. This, but, this is our forefather Jacob wrestling with an angel. Right. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, mm -hmm. except thou bless me. Watch this. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So Jacob said, Bless me. Right. And what the angel did? Changed his name. <laughs> <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Come on. But Israel. But Israel. For as a prince... Hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed? So not only did it, Jacob name change to Israel, but Israel meant something. Right. A prince that had power with God and man. Matthew 121. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? All oh, praises. <laughs> Matthew 121. We went to Abram, whose name was changed to Abraham. Abraham. It had a meaning. We went to Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. With a significant meaning. Right. Let's read Matthew 1, 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Come on. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. For he shall save his people uh -huh. from their sins. Even Jesus had a name that was a meaning. What? The savior of his people. He, he that saves. Let's get some more. Sam, 1 Samuel 1 and 20. All of our forefathers in the scriptures had names that they had to live up to. We didn't just throw around names for no reason. I, I know some of us named as uh, 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 Santana. Right. <laughs> so, some of us named uh, Baptiste. Some of us got Johnson. These right. are all names that our slave masters put on us. Right. <laughs> First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 20. Come on. Wherefore it came to pass. When the time was come about after Hannah had conceived. Hannah. Hannah. Oh, that's Hannah, right? Go ahead. Yeah, Hannah had conceived. Come on. That she bare a son. Watch this. And called his name Samuel. Called his name Samuel. Saying, because I have asked of him, I have asked him of mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's verse 20? That's verse 20. Samuel, the meaning of Samuel is asked of God. Our names had meanings. Right. They meant something. Get Isaiah, I'm sorry, get uh, first, 2 Samuel 12 and 24. 2 Samuel 12 and 24. 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 24. Read. And David com comforted Bathsheba his wife, uh -huh. and went unto her, went in unto her, uh -huh. and lay with her. And she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon. Solomon, watch this. And the Lord loved him. Uh -huh. And he sent by the hand of of Nathan the uh, prophet the, watch this what, 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 watch what Nathan called him come on and he called his name Jedediah uh, what, what does it mean because of the Lord beloved of God beloved of the Lord that's it that's it go to Isaiah 44 and 1 
our forefathers had names that meant something, y'all. But we're going to find out what our names mean today. We're going to find out. <laughs> Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Come on. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. God chose the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. God chose us. Read on. Thus saith the Lord that made thee, uh -huh. and formed thee from the womb. Formed thee from the womb. Which will help thee. Mm -hmm. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, mm -hmm. and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Come on. For I will pour water upon him uh -huh. that is thirsty, uh -huh. and floods upon the dry upon the dry ground. Come on. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. And that's what's going on today. The Lord is pouring out his spirit upon his people, his children. We're waking up. Come on. And my blessing upon thy offspring. We and they shall spring up as among the grass. That's what you see today. We're waking up. Read. As willows by the water curse. Now, now watch watch the process. Of changing your name, change, coming back to your heritage when you wake up. Read. One shall say, "I am the Lord." One shall say, "I'm the Lord." One shall say, "Yeah, I know. I'm, I know. I'm a child of God. I know I'm an Israelite." Right. Read on. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. One shall even be get an alias name. Right. I'm no longer a uh, 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 Bo. Right. Now I'm uh, Solomon. Right. Or or now I'm a uh, 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 Jedediah. Right. Read on. And another shall subscribe with his hand. And another shall actually subscribe with his hand. Unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And surname himself by the name of Israel. So that's the process of steps of faith. You got one that wakes up and says, y'all know I'm an Israelite, but I'm still going to go by the name Bo. Right. Now, my, my, my faith a little higher now. Right. Now, I don't want nobody to call me Bo no more. Right. Now, you could call me Uriel. Right. Now you can call me. Uh, 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 give, give me another name. A Right. Now you can call me from uh, one of my forefathers in the scriptures. And then now you know what my faith is to the point Increase. where now I can actually go to the courthouse and change it legally. Right. That's a level of faith. Give me Psalms forty nine eleven. Give me Psalms forty nine. <laughs> Psalms chapter forty nine and verse eleven. Come on. They're in. I'm sorry. Before that, give me Judges five eleven first. Judges 5, 11 first, and then we're going to go to Psalms 49, 11. So what's your name? <laughs> now, we're not saying you don't change your name. It's a sin. You ain't going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. We ain't saying that. Don't get it twisted, Israel. We ain't saying that. But it's a level of faith. It's right. a level of faith. Right. Judges 5, 11. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Come on. They that were delivered from the noises of archers Come on. in the places of drawing water. Uh-huh. There shall they rehearse. Do what? Rehearse. Rehearse means to practice. Constantly go over. Come on. The righteous acts of the Lord. The righteous acts of the Lord is to follow our forefathers' steps. Like we read in Romans 15 and 4. Right. right? That's the righteous acts of the Lord to do what our forefathers did. Because God says we was going to discontinue from our heritage. And then he said your name should be a curse. So that means coming back to our true names is a part of our heritage right. that God said we was going to discontinue from. Psalms 49, last scripture. Psalms, Psalms 49, 49 11. verse 11. Come on. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to, to all generations. This is talking about the so-called white man who God calls Esau. Edom. Right. Read on. They call their lands. They call their lands after their own name. What's another name for land? Property. 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 If you still got the name of your oppressors, you are still their property. property. Read it again. <laughs> Read it again. They call their lands after their own name. That's why you got uh, uh, you got the Walkers, you got the Johnsons, right. you the got Charles, the uh, you got the Charles, you got the Jermaine, the, uh, Saint John B. Uh, G. Baptiste. You got your Lewis's. You got your Santana's. You got, <laughs> you got all the names of the oppressors put on us. Read that again. Their inward thought is that their house shall continue forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to all generations. Come on. They call their lands after their own name. You got to understand, if you still calling yourselves after your oppressor's name, you are saying, I am the property of 
such and such. Right. Read that. Romans 12. Two. Romans yeah. chapter 12, verse 2. Come on. And be not conformed to this world. Come on. But be ye transformed. Be what? Transformed. Transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Just like Abram was transformed to Abraham. Right. Just like Jacob was transformed to Israel. Right. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Read. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It's the will of God for you not to call yourself after your oppressor's name. Right. All right, with that, we're going to say shalom, most our Christ's best. I've been Officer uh, Captain Gadda to my right. Officer Uriel, with that, we say shalom. Now that we've seen the treatment of God, we are not black men, we are the Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.